Hello, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. We're continuing our adventure through John in chapter 13, verse 21 through 30 in the um, children's something Bible that I just forgot what it's called. What is it called? International Children's Bible. That's what it's called, ICB. And um, the reason that we do this, the reason that I keep changing versions is that um, for copyright purposes, I can't stay in the same version um, every month. I have to change every month. So that's why. Okay, John chapter 12, verses 21 through 30 in the ICB, it says this. After Jesus said this, he was very troubled. He said openly, I tell you the truth, one of you will turn against me. The followers all looked at each other. They did not know whom Jesus was talking about. One of the followers was sitting next to Jesus. This was the follower Jesus loved. Simon Peter made signs to him to ask Jesus who it was that he was talking about. That follower leaned closer to Jesus and asked, Lord, who is it that will turn against you? Jesus answered, I will dip this bread into the dish. The man I give it to is the man who will turn against me. So Jesus took a piece of bread, he dipped it, and gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus said to Judas, the thing that you will do, do it quickly. None of the men at the table understood why Jesus said this to Judas. He was the one who kept the money box. So some of the followers thought that Jesus was telling Judas to buy what was needed for the feast. Or they thought that Jesus wanted Judas to give something to the poor. Judas accepted the bread Jesus gave him and immediately went out. It was night. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, the suspense in this story is really compelling to me as a novelist. I love how it ends. It shows um, just the darkness of what is going to happen. The last three words were, it was night. So I pray for my friend today whose circumstances feel like it is night. The darkness is surrounding and nothing good seems to be happening. I pray that you would lift that in glorious light by the power of your Holy Spirit. And Jesus, I love you so much for enduring such pain. And I love you so much that you already knew that Judas was going to betray you on the day you chose him. And yet you still spent those three years pouring your life into him. You still taught him. You still served him. You washed his feet. You loved him. And you um, you ultimately uh were with him all that time and he had the opportunity to know you and because he's a betrayer I happen to believe that you must have loved him and he must have loved you and so Lord I'm just so grateful that you know what it's like even though the pain of that is so excruciating you know what it's like to be betrayed by someone that you love this was not someone random who betrayed you Jesus this was a friend And so, Lord, I pray for those today who are listening who have had that kind of betrayal in their lives. Maybe it's a family member, a mom or a dad who didn't protect, or maybe it was a family member who abused, or maybe it was a friend that suddenly became an enemy and you don't know why. Um, Maybe, Lord, it was uh, just circumstances and, and just the busyness of life that changed the nature of a relationship. And what suddenly once was beautiful and wonderful suddenly has become dry and barren. Lord, all of us have relational aches. All of us understand what it's like to be betrayed by someone we love. But so we come to you to shoulder that weight today. We come to you because Jesus, you understand. You understand what it's like to be cast aside. You understand what it's like to be betrayed for money. That someone preferred money and um, pieces of silver over you. And that's got to be so painful, Lord. Lord, I know that there's people who grew up in homes where their um, perhaps their parents loved money more than they loved their children, and they pursued careers while neglecting their kids. Lord, there's so much, there's so many layers to this story, but um, I rest in the fact that you know what it's like to be hurt. And therefore, because you know what it's like, you can come alongside those of us who have tumult and tremors and pain in this particular area. We thank you ahead of time for bearing the weight of that burden. And we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for empathizing with us. And we pray all of this in Jesus' beautiful name. Amen. 
Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. If you're listening from somewhere other than the North America, actually Canada would be cool too. So anywhere other than the United States, um, if you could email me at mary at marydemuth.com and let me know how you found the podcast, that's really encouraging to me. And it also helps me understand how to help this podcast get out into more hands. Because my heart from the very beginning has been that Pray Every Day would reach the corners of the world. And so, um, yeah, send that to me and I would greatly appreciate it. For the rest of you listening wherever, have an amazing, heartfelt, loved, and light-filled day.